Now to our top story, a standoff in Pocatello called for the county's Bearcat and officers fully equipped with SWAT gear. Pocatello police putting on bulletproof vests. Residents asked to stay inside their homes, lock their doors, and stay away from windows. All this took place in Pocatello in the 4700 block of Navajo Street near Indian Hills Elementary. The school was also placed on control access during the incident. KPVI News that works for you reporter Magdala Lusant was on the scene and joins us now live from where the standoff was in Magdala. How's the neighborhood now? Matt, things are a lot calmer now, but around 10.50 this morning, things were different. Pocatello police were called to the Navajo area for a man who barricaded himself inside this home here behind me. Police say it didn't take long to negotiate with the suspect who is now in their custody. Several police officers swarmed a Pocatello neighborhood dressed in bulletproof vests and armed with guns. There was uh, cops in my neighbor's yard. They had their long guns and their uh, vests on and everything. And Bannock County Sheriff deputies rolling in a Bearcat. It's the most excitement I've had since I left Las Vegas, Nevada. All for a standoff at this home. They saw me looking out the window and told, called me and told me to get out of the window, lock all the doors and windows and shelter in place. Pocatello Hello, police say around 10:50 Friday morning, this man Tyler Blair broke into his uncle's home on the 4700 block of Navajo Street. They say Blair got a hold of guns inside the house and said someone was after him. A 14-year-old boy was home at the time, left the house to call his parents, who notified police. Officers take every incident seriously, and this was the response that they felt was appropriate here. Uh, it's just good that there's a a peaceful resolution. Residents in the area were something else police took seriously too. They got a reverse 911 call. They just said to stay in your house, stay away from windows. Police say it was a quick negotiation with the 28 year old, but residents are just glad the situation ended peacefully. I'm just glad it's all over and that nobody got hurt or shot or anything. Blair is facing a number of charges, aggravated assault, felon in possession of a firearm, and other charges related to this incident are currently pending. Reporting live in Pocatello, I'm Magdala Lusant, KPVI, news that works for you.